Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the best budget gaming mice in 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To find out more information about these budget gaming mice you can check out the description below and also don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest technology reviews. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5 it's the SteelSeries Rifle 3. Gaming is a wonderful hobby, it's one of my favourite pastimes to be honest, and I know just how expensive it can get to maintain this hobby at the highest level. For that reason I'll recommend the best budget gaming mice that'll deliver solid performance without costing you a fortune. First we'll start with one of the most durable mice in the market, the SteelSeries Rival 3. This mouse with its low price, excellent performance and attractive RGB lighting is definitely a catch. The SteelSeries Rival 3 is specifically designed as an affordable value-based gaming mouse that will deliver a lightweight and pleasant experience for both FPS and MMORPG games. I've had some experience with the Rival series but this one is definitely the best in their lineup. The SteelSeries Rival 3 is packed with tons of features despite being a pretty affordable gaming mouse from a SteelSeries. First, I have to talk about the excellent TrueMove core optical sensor of this mouse that has true one-to-one -one tracking with a sensitivity of up to 8,500 dots per inch and an accuracy of up to 300 inches per second. On top of that, it has an acceleration of 35 Gs. It has six fully programmable buttons at your disposal and it weighs just 77 grams, which is amazing. One of the biggest selling points of the SteelSeries Rival 3 is that it rocks mechanical switches that are rated for 60 million clicks, best in the market. The first impression with the SteelSeries Rival 3 was pretty interesting as it looks a bit small and utilitarian. However, once you connect it with your PC, you'll see the three light zones light up, which are customizable to your liking with the SteelSeries Engine 3. The mouse felt extremely ergonomic and ready to go in the hands, both with the claw and palm grip, no problem, extremely comfortable every way. In terms of practical gaming performance, the SteelSeries Rival 3 proved itself worthy at all times. It didn't lag behind and I was pretty impressed with the MMORPG experience, despite it not being a dedicated MMORPG mouse. If you want a value-based and super durable mouse that'll be by your side for a long time, take a look at this one. At number 4, it's the Rockat Cone IMO. Next up we have one of the best mid-range gaming mice in the market that comes as a great deal, the Rockat Cone IMO. This mouse delivers one of the wider set of features that you can see on an affordable mouse, such as a large number of buttons and accurate tracking performance, great gliding, an ergonomic shape for ages, superb sensor and so much more. One of the best packages in the market. With all the upgrades it's received, the Rockat Cone IMO is definitely a dedicated MMORPG mouse that's designed to destroy the competition. When you take a look at its features, you really expect it to deliver superb performance and you won't be disappointed with this one. As I said, the spec sheet and the feature list of the Rockat Cone IMO is pretty much perfect. Let's check it out. First off, I have to speak about the Owl Eye Optical Sensor that delivers accurate and precise tracking up to 12,000 dots per inch sensitivity. The Pixar 3361 modified sensor will really give you an edge. The Rockat Cone IMO rocks 12 different buttons that can be customized and with the Easy Shift Plus button you can double that number as they can take different functions allowing you to set up different macros for MMORPGs. The polling rate is 1000 Hz and the response time is 1 millisecond. With the onboard memory and the 250 IPS maximum speed, it won't let you down. Right out of the box, the Rockat Cone IMO looks pretty much ready for action with its sculpted body that has some angles and parts that make it feel pretty much natural in the hands. On top of that, I should state that the mouse looks aggressive, but that's a good thing as its RGB lighting looks interesting overall. In terms of gaming performance, it really felt excellent overall. My favourite part about it was the smooth gliding performance. During testing with various games, it performed adequately with everything, but the MMORPG experience was perfect. Macros worked pretty well and it felt good all the time. At number 3, it's the HyperX Pulsefire FPS Pro. HyperX has wreaked some havoc in the gaming peripheral market lately since it's delivered some of the best and most balanced value-based products. The HyperX Pulsefire FPS Pro is one of the most notable, coming in with a perfect design, great textured grips for ergonomics, performance for the ages and a button layout that's very useful and efficient. It has definitely hit the sweet spot here. Just like its name implies, the HyperX Pulsefire FPS Pro is designed and manufactured for FPS games. Everything about this mouse is based around that and it still maintains a value-based price. 
I wanted to see whether it can really deliver an edge in FPS games like the manufacturer promises it to do. The HyperX Pulsefire FPS Pro has some nice set of features that are very cleverly chosen to deliver one of the best FPS experiences. For example, it has the Pixar 3389 optical sensor that has a native DPI sensitivity of up to 16,000. The polling rate of this mouse is 1000 Hz as well, and the response time just one millisecond. I should also mention that it has a speed of 400 IPS and a maximum acceleration of 50G, which is perfect for FPS games. It has six programmable buttons on its body, and with the HyperX Ingenuity software, it's extremely efficient. Also, before moving on, you can save up to three individual profiles on the mouse thanks to its onboard memory. The HyperX Pulsefire FPS Pro has the classic right-handed ergonomic gaming mouse shape that's pretty popular for all the good reasons. It has a nice medium size that'll be perfect for most gamers, and the elevated center allows you to go both ways in terms of grip. Also, the textured patterns on the sides are pretty good and allow you to get tons of comfort. I should also mention that the mouse looks pretty good overall and it has an attractive body. I put the HyperX Pulsefire FPS Pro through some various games and wanted to see just how much it can be pushed. I saw that despite being labelled as an FPS mouse, it can do just as well in all genres, but with FPS games it was pretty much perfect. Smooth, fast and precise. At number 2, it's the Razer Death Adder Elite. Coming up next, we have one of the very best gaming mice in the market, the Razer Death Adder Elite. You're introduced to royalty here since this is the one that started it all. It's one of the most critically acclaimed mice of all time and its users would not change it with anything else. It delivers performance, durability, reliability and so much more, all at an affordable price. The Razer Death Adder Elite is designed and manufactured to make gaming affordable for everybody. This is one of the best value-based models in the market and it delivers a pro-level performance. I've always had a Death Adder in my arsenal and the Elite version is just as excellent. No need for it to be tested, but here we go. In terms of features and specs, the Razer Death Adder Elite is equipped with everything that's needed to make it the best package in the market. The company has used a custom 5G sensor that came as a collaboration with Pixart, and this sensor delivers acceleration of up to 50 Gs, and that with a tracking accuracy of 450 inches per second. I should also mention that the Razer Death Adder Elite has a maximum DPI of 16,000, with a polling rate of 1000 Hz. I should also mention that this mouse is packed with Omron mechanical switches to give them a nice feel and a durability up to 50 million clicks. The Razer Death Adder Elite has a pretty excellent shape that first of all looks pretty much utilitarian and office camo, besides the Razer logo in the middle. It's extremely ergonomic for gaming, allowing you to get both the palm and claw grip comfortably, and on top of that it also weighs just 104 grams, which is perfect for balance. While it doesn't have any special features, the Razer Death Adder Elite delivers performance for the ages. It's definitely one of the most capable packages in the market, delivering speed and accuracy. First-person shooters, MMORPGs, adventure games, everything, you name it, the Razer Death Adder Elite can beat it. If you want to get the most out of your money, opt for this one. And at number one, it's the Logitech G502 Proteus. Coming up next, we have the definite best gaming mouse in the budget range coming up from Logitech, the G502 Proteus Spectrum. It's a solid gaming mouse that delivers every bit of feature that a gamer mouse should have. It's a versatile tool that'll deliver a priceless performance with its amazing comfortable body, tons of buttons, customizability, and a sensor that'll make every user happy. As I said, this is a mouse that's dedicated for every gamer. Doesn't matter if you like playing FPS, MMORPG, or adventure games, the Logitech G502 Proteus can deliver whatever you need, top of the crop. I didn't have any experience with this mouse prior to this, and I wanted to see if it can deliver its intended features. The Logitech G502 Proteus has tons of features and performance specs that'll impress even the most nitpicky users. First off, I should state that it's packed with an amazing optical sensor, the PMW3366, that has a sensitivity of up to 12,000 dpi. I like that it had zero smoothings, acceleration or filtering, registering your inputs correctly. It can reach a maximum acceleration of 40 Gs and a maximum speed of 400 inches per second. It has onboard memory for up to three profiles and 11 buttons that you can customize to your liking. There are also five extra weights to adjust its weight, so it'll suit your style better. The Logitech G502 Proteus is a mid-sized mouse that looks pretty much like its predecessor, except the RGB lighting zones that look perfect overall, giving the mouse a more streamlined and modern look. In the hand, the mouse feels beautiful with its textured rubber grips on the side, allowing you to game comfortably. All the buttons deliver a pretty clicky feel, and they aren't hard to press at all. Excellent overall. 
I tested the Logitech G502 Proteus while both gaming and surfing the web, as well as doing my daily productivity tasks. It fared well in every scenario. However, for gaming, it was definitely a dream come true, as it was extremely smooth every single time. No lag at all, and it was so precise, taking the whole experience to another level. For its price, you can't find a better mouse in the market, especially for gaming. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.